And then most devita- most devastating of all, there has been more than one case of a young life lost after a chatbot's encouragement of suicide. Yeah, and this I, I think that I have a sneak I, I don't mean to lean too hard into governance and be ridiculous about stuff, but that there are certain things up until about supposedly the age of 25, human beings are still forming our neural network in our brains. And what this means essentially is we haven't necessarily reached full intellectual maturation right? We're still learning how to think. And when you're in that stage, I would argue that you you may not have reached your potential of being able to reason clearly. But anyway, so given cases like this, I think this is really awful that you'll get young people whose minds are still developing, and then they speak with an AI chatbot that speaks with a certain level of confidence and certainty that for us adults, well, even for us adults, some of us kind of struggle, right? Oops, sorry, buddy. Uh, we kind of struggle in our ability to understand, uh, distill the signal from the noise. But if if we as adults have trouble doing this, how can we expect that... Uh, children will be able to. I think that the answer is you probably can't. So I do think that some guardrails should be put in place for uh, chatbots. And I think that it should, or, you know, maybe just AI systems in general. Uh, Yeah, we'll have to put a pin in that. I think one of the most important skills that humans are going to require moving forward no matter what happens with ai is we're going to need strong critical thinking skills especially as ai's uh, develop more because we will need uh, the strong ability to distill the signal from the noise 